If you look at the recent past, there has been numerous instances of financial and operational irregularities and non-compliances in big and small companies. These irregularities, whether financial or operational, has been the biggest hindrance for any company in achieving its organizational goal in a timely manner and in an efficient way. So to counter these irregularities, all big and small companies are advised to have an internal audit department. An internal audit department, obviously having few staff or at least an internal auditor. Guys, I'm the Commerce Specialist. Welcome to my YouTube channel where you'll find videos covering various professional and academic qualification and certifications, including life-changing business ideas and concepts. As you all know, there are two types of auditors, external and internal. Today's discussion is based on internal auditors. Today's discussion is based on CIA. Yes, you heard it right, CIA. But it's not that CIA which you're thinking about. CIA stands for Certified Internal Auditor. It's a professional certification, internationally accepted and recognized. So let's talk about the details. The CIA exam has three parts in it. So in order to qualify CIA, in order to become a CIA, Certified Internal Auditor, you have to pass three exams. We call them three levels of CIA. The very first is Essentials of Internal Audit. The other is Practice of Internal Audit. And then the third one is Business Knowledge and Internal Audit. All these exams can be given in any part. It's not that you have to give level one, two, and three. No, you can give any part in any order and in sequence. When you look at the exam format, the first exam, CIA part one, consists of 125 MCQs and you have to attempt them in two and a half hours. The second two exam each has 100 MCQs and the time limit is two hours. Uh, one common question students ask me is, how much should we study? How many hours should we study? What is the effort we have to put in? So on an average, being prudent, each, the first and second uh, part of CIA requires approximate 40 hours of study. The third requires 60. So in all, in total 140 hours, that's the minimum threshold requires. Now, when I talk about these 40 or 60 hours, I'm talking about the contact hours with the tutor, the mentor. Let's say you're studying with me. So for part one, at least 40 hours of face-to-face -face or online study with me or anybody else is required. So all these three parts can be completed with an investment of 140 contact hours with your mentor, your tutor, whoever, okay? Then comes the duration. One thing you need to know, once you register with the IIA, that is the Institute of Internal Auditor USA, once you register with them as an applicant, as a candidate, you must give your first exam within 180 days. That's one of the restrictions. So once you register, you got to give your exam in 180 days. Coming to the passing marks, I mean, it's not 60%, 40%. They have a scaled scoring system. And you have to score minimum 600 on a scaled scoring system to qualify. The good news is this exam is available in 13 different languages. So you can go to the website of IIA and check whether the exam is available in the language which you speak. Looking at the eligibility, this is very important, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a bachelor's degree, you need a bachelor's degree and around two years of internal audit experience, which should be certified and verified. But if you have a master's degree, you require only one year of internal audit experience to get certified. What if you have no degrees whatsoever? Then you need to have at least five years of practical experience in core internal audit area and that too certified. Coming to the most important part, the cost, the fee, uh, you have the option of becoming member of IIA and then giving the exam. If you do so, if you are a member, these are the fees which apply. CIA part one, for members 280 US dollars for the exam fee, part two 230, part three 230. With a one-time application fee for 230. So if you are a member, you are paying around 970 US dollars for 
registration and for the three exams. If you opt not to be a member, then you'll be paying around 1300 US dollars. So uh, being a member and non being a member, the saving is on 345. So you can check the website, see the membership and see whether this is worth saving or not. You can do your math. Other than these exam fees and registration charges, obviously you have to buy resources. I'm not recommending any publisher because that would be promoting them, but you can email me, I can tell you which I use generally. The last important part, ladies and gentlemen, is the scope. People ask me, if I do CIA, what's in it for me? Uh, you know, where do I land up? Opportunities are enormous. Let me tell you, in many countries, in many jurisdictions, it's mandatory that an organization, especially a public limited company, should have an internal auditor. Especially if you are a, a, a pie. Pie is not an apple pie I'm talking about. I'm talking about public interest entity. If your company, if you're a listed company, you, your company is of strategic importance for the economy of the country, so you need to have an internal auditor. Let me give you an example. My days when I was working in a bank, I don't want to quote the name of the bank, uh, there was a gentleman who was the head of internal audit uh, for good 12 to 15 years. The regulation came to that country that all financial institutions need to have their internal audit departments headed by a CIA certified candidate. So that gentleman was given a generous two years to, you know, qualify, get certified. And he was a little hesitant, you know, people who are senior of certain age, they are a little hesitant to learn new things. When the two year expired, the bank hired a 24 year old candidate, CIA certified with a couple of years experience, that uh, young uh, candidate replaced this guy who had 15 long years experience. So let me tell you, whether you intend to work in internal auditing, or you are already working in internal audit department, if you don't have the certification, soon you'll be replaced by the person who's certified. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have uh, benefited from this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment. I will respond to you. If you like this video, please share it with your dear and dear ones so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your precious time.